LSD is one such chemical that does produce this curious effect of making you aware of the polarity of things. It does lots of other things. It does lots of rather unessential and trivial things. And these, of course, in all the publicity in various national magazines about LSD get thoroughly emphasized. In other words, when somebody says something's real psychedelic, they mean bizarre. And when the national magazines try to illustrate the effect of these chemicals... Yeah, I can't imagine. They come on with blurred photographs. All sorts of things, higgledy-piggledy, messed together. Uh, naked girls seen through prison. Well, that's absolutely nothing to do with it. If you wanted some sort of appropriate illustration for a light magazine article on the effects of LSD, you would have one very simple solution. You would publish the most gorgeous color reproduction of Persian images and of uh, Moorish arabesques and of the illuminations of Celtic manuscripts. That would give you the story. So far as changes in the sensation are concerned. But there would be one thing very difficult to put across in pictures, because the people who look at them, if they didn't get the point of view, wouldn't see it. And that is what I would call the sensation as well as the intellectual understanding of polarity. That is to say, that the inside and the outside, the subjective and the objective, the self and the other, go together. Uh, there is a harmony, an unbreakable harmony. Bringing new realms, new aspects of consciousness to the fore is important because everything here in the material world was once in the realm of the unknown and the unrealized. Everything, houses, books, and shoes, and guitars, karate, all once lived in the infinite realm of the unrealized and all that will ever be realized is in that realm now. Psychedelics mean that different stuff comes through, different aspects of consciousness. I've taken psychedelics myself and what it made me realise is that my own identity is a construction. But there is no actual me other than what I believe myself to be. So if a lot of people have those kind of experiences, or those kind of experiences even for a lot of people aren't having them and made more prevalent in the culture, then things will change. I just never go around taking acid all day long because when I did do that, I just gave away my bike. So uh, drugs are bad. <laughs>